Shout out to the EA Sports Game Changer program for allowing me to capture some early Madden 22 gameplay for you guys. We are in Madden 22 Ultimate Team today, and we're going to take a spin with one of the better teams you can build on Mutt in day one. A lot of fun players to check out, including Trevor Lawrence at the quarterback, quarterback position. That's that rookie premier Lawrence. We also have rookie premier Jamar Chase and this beastly 92 overall George Kittle that I am pretty sure is the best player you can get on day one of Madden Ultimate Team. Now I say day one very vaguely because getting this George Kittle will be an absolute grind in one day. I think you have to get your mutt level maxed out to get this 92 Kittle as well as a 90 overall Linvaugh Joseph that you can get along the way. But nonetheless that George Kittle is an absolute monster and you could already check out some of the abilities that we're able to put on George Kittle like I believe I put red zone threat on him and tied in a Apprentice and the my superstar was it uh AP cap limit right now is at 10 points. I believe they raised it at 12 towards the end of the Mutt 21 cycle, but it's back down to 10. And you guys see we put Devontae Adams with Route Tech. We got a couple of abilities on T Law, including Set B Lead. That should be pretty good for us. And of course, what we mentioned with George Kittle. On the defensive side of the ball, more rookie premier guys like Micah Parsons and JC Horn. And of course, we got to get some beasts like Aaron Donald and the Limbaugh Joseph that I mentioned, the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. So these are a lot of the best players that you will be able to see in day one of Madden Ultimate Team obviously not going to be easily obtainable but you know you can see how they all play on the field before you get them one by one for your squad and we got Jalen Ramsey at that cornerback position Jalen Ramsey is number five this year so um, you guys will see him wearing number five once we take the field but his mutt art right now says number 20 you guys see the defensive abilities we have I uh, pretty much just put acrobat on a bunch of secondary players and then inside stuff on Linvaugh Joseph we could have just went full acrobat but uh Linvaugh Joseph is actually the only player I could find or at least on my squad that was able to get inside stuff so we activate that on him and then we have acrobat on I believe two cornerbacks three cornerbacks maybe and two safeties but nonetheless let's finally hop into the game here we're gonna be playing against my boy Adam and you guys see the squad he's got a little bit different than us we have a, a few different players including he's using Devontae Smith as we are underway here Devontae Smith having that it's not even a rookie premiere card it's like a I think the rookie master card that he has and that card is filthy man you definitely want to check that one out once you load into Mutt as Patrick Mahomes the quarterback for Adam who's in trouble and Mahomes on the first play just gonna throw it away second play to run it Derek Henry at that running back position I have to get my guy Saquon Barkley but of course Derek Henry probably the best back you can get on day one besides probably that rookie premier Najee Harris that also looks pretty good as Mahomes he'll go play action gonna go with some crossers classic <laughs> as Travis Kelsey underneath making the catch a gain of four I want to assume my guy's a Chiefs fan because he had like Hill Mahomes Kelsey the whole mix here but then again those are just some of the best players at their position third down pressure on Mahomes and he's picked off by Jalen Ramsey my apologies man I'm a little sick so my voice might have gotten a little hoarse there but Jalen Ramsey he got up high for that INT do not put your hands in the cookie jar it's man in 22 and it's still the same thing do not put your hands in the cookie jar you will not get away with it and George Kittle right away showing his impact showing his worth as Lawrence holding the ball oh man I wish I saw a circle there because he got wide open but nonetheless second down and 10 will drop back with T-Law one more time and Lawrence running into his own man and losing the ball picked up by Jamal Adams and Blitzboy try to take that one back but it's going to be a turnover nonetheless shout out to the O-line some things just happen to stay, stay the same no matter what Madden we're playing right <laughs> that just happens to be one of them no groundbreaking offensive lineman changes to this game as Derrick Henry run the ball they're getting tripped up just a bit the movement in the next gen for Madden 22 definitely feels a lot better you guys will notice that throughout I think it's noticeable as well like when you're playing as well as when you're watching as third down Mahomes sitting waiting having T and crumpets back there finally taking off but he's sandwiched by Parsons and sweat that'll bring up a fourth down and three we're going in an exotic defensive look here we're gonna fake the pressure bail out and Mahomes bailing out that pocket but nowhere to go nowhere to hide TJ what with the sack the turnover on downs this has been a defensive showcase so far Lawrence trying to bring the offense bring the offense to it and shot to Devontae Adams with that toe tap and we'll go to Saquon Barkley here new set of downs Barkley on the screen pass cut it outside staying on his feet staying alive until he gets that first down for us. Here's Law dropping back. Or Lawrence. I called him Law. That's Stani Badger right there with the INT. Tyron Matthew. And just trying to force that ball to George Kittle. Trying to see just how beastly this George Kittle can be for us. And 
Um, a little bit of tunnel vision right there, I suppose. So here's Mahomes under pressure once again. And you guys see that that pass rush is no joke, right? You want to sit around that pocket and wait. Like, those boys come and... Um, pause as we are going to give up a deep shot to Jamar Chase on third down. That time I try to force the pressure with a blitz and uh, yeah, maybe not the smartest decision. That Jamar Chase is, I believe, the fastest wide receiver in the game on day one. So leaving him one-on-one, -on -one, I mean, it's just something you don't want to do regardless. Maybe unless you have that Jalen Ramsey because that guy's pretty nice. As Mahomes, one more time, play action bootleg, classic. Hey, there's that tight end release. Hey, man, you got the whole meta down. This is going to be a first down carry to Christian McCaffrey with 34 seconds left in the first half. And that'll be a timeout by us as we're trying to preserve some time in this first half. Goal line for the Kansas City Chiefs. They'll run it left side. Derrick Henry. Stop. What a tackle there by Trey White. And we'll call our second timeout of the half with 30 seconds left. And it looks like Chiefs, they'll go with the exact same look. And we stuff it again. Micah Parsons making the tackle. Henry's actually credited with a gain of two. So I'll give the full set of plays on fourth down and goal available for the Chiefs. Will they go to the left again? No, they'll go middle. And Juszczyk is in for the touchdown. Oh, he's just able to muscle in for six. I mean, we played as good goal line defense as you possibly can play. It's just, you know, so many bites at the apple. Eventually, you're going to get a chomp right there. He got just enough of a chomp to get that touchdown. As Devontae Smith on the kick return, trying to make some moves. We got these 49ers jerseys trying to represent George Kittle. Maybe looking for Kittle. Maybe forcing it to Kittle. And somehow, George went sky high to try to get that ball for a second down. Anybody else getting open? Not before that pressure gets to us. So at this point, I'm definitely staring down Kittle a little bit too much. There's only 10 seconds left in the half, so there's not really much for us to do out here. I'll just run the ball with Saquon Barkley. Uh, surprising my opponent didn't call a timeout here, but you guys will notice as we go into halftime one of the new features of Madden Ultimate Team is adjustments to your ability players I don't know how many people knew about this but at halftime you can switch out ability so let's say your opponent's really running the ball but you have a bunch of pass heavy abilities but you have a couple of inside stuffs and no outsiders and even secure tacklers on your team that you're thinking all right like my opponent has Derrick Henry he's kind of busting me up all right well let's switch up the abilities it's going to cost you more training which you know <laughs> just always seems to be the way we go upwards in uh training points that we have to use every single year but you know it adds to the strategy of the game I think that's pretty cool that you can make those halftime adjustments whether it's on offense or defense and you know it, it's a minute half time break it's also not a bad pee break because you don't really get those in Madden I'll be real as Trevor Lawrence I'll be real with you Trevor Lawrence just threw a dime to I believe that was Debo as that was Amari Cooper here's ooh Saquon Barkley Woohoo! Jalen Ramsey caught all of that smoke second down and six as we enter the red zone Lawrence finding Kittle and Kittle will give us a goal to go opportunity Barkley up the middle he'll meet Chris Jones not a chance to score that football second down Lawrence rolling the pocket my goodness who is that giving chase was that Donald Aaron Donald was an absolute monster third down a goal from the A Lawrence up high and George Kittle's got the touchdown and you gotta think that that red zone threat had to have helped us in that situation that uh, putting that ability on I mean, it couldn't hurt in that situation, right? So George Kittle, he's got the touchdown for us, and we're able to tie the game up late third quarter. It's been a defensive battle from the start, but we put together quite the drive to start off the second half, get those points, and now oh, let's see if we can continue locking up. I feel like our defense has been playing really well against him, as well as it could possibly play against these crossers, like it seems like every other play, as he'll, I don't think, no, he did not get the completion there to Devontae Smith. A bit of a rookie mistake, not getting those feet in. Third down and 20. Oh, Mahomes somehow gets away from sweat he's crossed the line of scrimmage he's in trouble and he's brought down eventually by montez sweat and on fourth down and 16 adam's got no choice here punt the ball and we got george kittle on the punt return here why not apparently you can put tight ends at punt return this year i don't know that was always a thing but i was like well i might as well try that out as lawrence with some space to buy time make a decision a great decision at that finding Devontae adams tay adams off to the races and he'll go 
the distance. Devante Adams for the lead. And shout out to that O-line giving us the time. And Trevor Lawrence put it on a silver platter. And Devontae Adams did the rest. One-on-one -on -one with Jalen Ramsey. Ramsey did the job in the first act. But in the second act, well, we kind of put a little bit of Aaron Rodgers in Trevor Lawrence's game. And Devontae Adams more than familiar with that. As my opponent muffs the kickoff right here. And only gets it to his own 16-yard line. We get stuck on Linbaugh Joseph. I'm sorry, guys. I got like a little bit of a cough, so. That's what that is every single time you hear that. So we start the fourth quarter with Christian McCaffrey running the ball. And McCaffrey getting some great blocks right there. I believe I came out in some like cover four right there. So I was messing up my defense. So he got a really easy run. But no easy passes against this 49ers defense. Second down. Mahomes quickly underneath Kyle Pitts. And look at the speed of Kyle Pitts, man. Kyle Pitts is actually faster than most receivers in the game on day one. I think he has 88 speed. Uh, Devontae Adams has like 88. Five speed. So that Kyle Pitts is, I mean, a lot of his rookie premier cards are crazy good. As once again, the rollout, the tight end on the release. Yeah, you got it, bro. You got it. <laughs> he needs all of that uh, cheese if he needs to come back in this game, I suppose, as he's down by seven, running the ball with McCaffrey. He'll go no huddle, try to get at least one more playoff before the two-minute warning. Mahomes with full control of the offense. He's looking to pass the ball one more time. Rolling, but we got the contains. And Mahomes, cross body, able to complete the Tyreek Hill, but it's actually going to be a loss of one. And now a third down and 11, definite four down territory for Mahomes, quickly underneath. It's McCaffrey trying to make a move, but... Not going to do too much. It's still a fourth down. Our defense does the job. Can we hold for one more play? As Mahomes, he'll look to pass. He'll have the time against the three-man rush. He'll go to the end zone. And he's picked off. It's Ramsey again. Jalen Ramsey with number two on Mahomes. And, oh, Mahomes missing the tackle. Devontae Smith finally gets him. And Jalen Ramsey is having a dominant outing. And now let's see if we could get to a few first downs here. Put this game away. We'll see if Saquon Barkley can get the job done on first down again. At three, second down. Looking for more. And maybe getting one or two more yards. So third down here. Do we pass the ball, be aggressive, or just run the ball one more time, take away his timeouts? Well, you know me, I don't give a damn. We're going to go for it all here. Third down and five. Oh, Lawrence picked off by Aaron Donald. Oh, that ball was hit out of Lawrence's hands and right into the arms of Perhaps the best defense, I mean, one of the best defensive players we've ever seen, Aaron Donald, easily the best in the league. I, I realized the receiver was wide open way too late and messed that up. And now, here's my opponent immediately in the red zone trying to pound this in with Derrick Henry and not really trying to disguise it. But we're able to make the tackle that time. It was McCaffrey not able to beat the Honey Badger for the first down. Four ten inches, time is ticking. And the Chiefs, they will run it one more time. No! Dice Montez Sweat once again. What a game for Montez, man. Really controlling the outside as we are looking for George Kittle here. Not going to work out that time around. One more time. Let's go for Kittle. Whoa. Sketchy. His honey badger nearly made the big play. Third down. I'm going to run the same play that almost scored. Not too long ago, but this time, Jamar Chase runs the option to the left side and still gets open. And Jamar Chase is an absolute beast, and that's the way this game is going to end. What a throw by Trevor Lawrence. If Jamar Chase ran straight, I think we still would have had a touchdown, but that was an option route, and he ran the post for, you know reasons that only he knows but what we know is we ended up getting the dub it was a funny game nonetheless though shout out to um, my dude adam here ggs to him i'll leave his links in the description below and yeah man i mean that george kittle definitely a lot of fun i probably didn't use him as well as i could have i didn't really use the the tight end apprentice as much as i probably could have to be completely honest but like you can see the potential of that kittle and you know, and really just a lot of these rookie premier guys really stick out. So, I mean, I guess if you've done those, then uh, you've done well for yourself. But, yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed what you guys saw. Subscribe for more Man 22 gameplays. If you guys want to see more of these Man 22 games, I'll be uploading them pretty frequently for the next couple of days. As you guys see, uh, my settings were messed up here. That's why the game was a little bit dark. You'll see I finally fixed this, like, brightness and contrast. that was, like, on higher for no reason. And it ends up looking a lot better afterwards. So, um, yeah, I don't know why that was like that, but... Just know when you get the game, don't touch this stuff, man. <laughs> Just don't touch it. And on that note, I will catch you guys next time. Thank you, as always, for watching.